Another blood red sunset and yet another moon face and still another hundred miles to my next resting place. Driving down the road, eyes on the horizon. Within my car, I'm all alone. But feeling good and feeling strong, knowing that this path I'm on brings me to myself. I'm driving. Hey, now all, I'm Joey C. Welcome back to another episode of Spirit Sherpa. This is the show that helps and encourages you on your journey to unlock your magic mojo. With me, as always, is the spirit doctor, Kelly Sparta. Kelly, you're a pain in my butt. And hi. <laughs> 180 <laughs> episodes. You would think I would know to pull my chair up to the mic before you start talking. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's like... <laughs> This ain't our first freaking rodeo, lady. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suck. No, not at all. Not at all. Oh, boy. So, yeah. So, hi and stuff. Hi, I'm Steph. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's one of those days. Yeah, so for those who might have missed it, we were we're getting ready in the in the in the green room, as I like to refer to it before we, we actually start recording and we're clearing our throats, taking our last drink of water, getting ready to, to get started. Kelly's pulling out her, her Werther's original or whatever the heck she's halls. She's halls. There you go. And, um, and we're like, okay, we're going to go. So we give it a little beat, let ourselves get settled. And then just as I start the intro, <laughs> she's like, no, let me move my chair forward. And, Maybe do I realized I was too far something. from the microphone because I moved my <laughs> microphone onto a different stand because we're doing a sound healing today and I needed to be able to stand up. So, you know, we only do this like every, every like four or five, six months. Give me a break. Okay. <laughs> As I said, I suck. It's okay. You do not at all. So <laughs> you brought us in though. We're doing sound healing today. I am. Yes, we are. We're doing sound healing. So, um. Yeah, this is one of those things. We always give the warning, you know, don't be driving because oftentimes people will travel. Did I tell the story about the sound healing from the retreat? Uh, perhaps, but why not tell it again? Okay, so <laughs> um, it was really interesting. There was a, a one of the other speakers there, his name, Harry Sherwood. Evidently, he and his partner go to Lakota uh, Sweat Lodges and... He said that when I started, the, when I announced that I was going to be doing a sound healing at the very end of my presentation, uh, and then I didn't take out an instrument, he said, oh, I knew exactly what was coming, right? And and so he was excited. So, uh, which was my first time hearing that this is sounds similar to Lakota song. So uh, that was news to me, but uh, I thought it was kind of cool. So... Um, Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We've been we've been doing sound healings for stress relief and you know soothing the inner child and clearing grief and you know all of these things that are kind of heavy. And today I thought we would do something a little different. Today I thought we would do something um, a little more forward motion indicated right what we're going to do is opening the next stage of your evolution and so this is your fair warning if you think you travel a lot when i do the other things hold on to your hats <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh this would be a good time for you to you know find a comfortable place to be make sure you're not going to be uh, interrupted anywhere along the way, find a comfortable position, pro preferably not laying down because you can often fall asleep if you're laying down. But if you need to, you know, you're a sovereign being, do as you will. It's not like I'm there to look at you. So, <clears throat> and as you do that, uh, I want to mention something that I haven't mentioned in a few times, right? We haven't talked about the inner peace program. And the inner peace program is, it's so revolutionary for people. It really is. 
every single time somebody finishes up and they tell me how their life has changed, I am humbled and I am, am just in awe of the work that they're doing in this program. And it begins with addressing your issues around fear and anxiety and worry and dread and self-doubt and inner and outer judgment. And it helps you to build a foundation of self-support and courage. And it is nothing short of life-changing for people. And if you don't believe me, check out the website and look at the testimonials because I can't say anything better than they could. There's even uh, at least one there's a second video testimonial that's being edited right now that'll be going up soon. But uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So hopefully that gave you time to find yourself a comfortable spot. And uh, if you if you are still driving, bad human, no biscuits, stop. <laughs> you must immediately stop this podcast and go listen to another one. If this is your first podcast, then I suggest you start at the beginning. And if it is not, then, you know, Listen to another one and until you pull over and then pull over and you can listen to this. Okay. Are we, are we all in place now? Yes. I think we are all situated comfortably, not driving, paused if we were driving, but now reinstated and ready for the wonderfulness. <laughs> okay. Get comfortable. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath.
So as I said, a little different than the previous sound healings. Yeah. So uh, I don't normally do this, but I feel compelled to talk about what happened in the sound healing. And if you felt like big things were happening, it would be because I called in my ancestors. I called in your ancestors. I called in all the angels. I called in Grandmother Moon. I called in the four elements and the aspects that we work with in our mystery school and ask them to participate. Um, I, I basically called in everybody in the kitchen sink. And the final piece was calling you to write your intentions on the Akashic, that they may be solid. And so um, if you weren't quite prepared for this, <laughs> and I did say buckle up, but I didn't give you a lot of exactly what that was. If you weren't quite prepared, feel free to listen again when you are. <laughs> um and it will still be there and still be present for you at the same level. Uh, people tell me that they listen to the other ones over and over again and that they are cumulative in effect. So uh, this is a, essentially a call to initiation. And this would be the who you want to be, right? right? Yeah. With that, I want to sort of transition back to a question for you, Joey. Oh. <laughs> yes. Well, how was your trip? <laughs> It was absolutely wonderful. It was wonderful. The weather was perfect and the cabin was delightful and it was wonderful. Well, and there's no better way to figure out what your next step is and who you want to be than to be alone. Yes. And with yourself for a, a few moments anyway. <laughs> yeah. So having, having some space to sit and be and reflect and not have anyone else's needs to worry about or tend to and to just be by yourself, no obligations, no responsibilities, quite lovely. It really is. Yeah. Really so is. if you got to the end of this and you're going, ah, ah, I don't know what, I don't know what, take a little time to yourself, follow Joey's lead, let him <laughs> be your beat. guide. Take a beat and circle back. <laughs> <laughs> it will always be there when you return. So next week, we're doing a mythology on the divine couple, I think, if I remember yes, correctly. Yep, that's right. And then the week after, we have a really interesting episode for you because uh, one of our listeners wrote in and asked me a question about AI, artificial intelligence, and the apps that are using AI and whether spirits interact with it and things like that and shared an experience that she had, which is quite fascinating and in is by the way, a very advanced discussion. So if you are new, you will probably want to start at the beginning and work your way forward before you listen to that episode. Unless of course you're like me and all the other, you know, <laughs> <laughs> spiritual masochists Damn out there the going, torpedoes full speed I ahead. want the advanced <laughs> thing yesterday. I may not understand it, but I want it, right? <laughs> Feed me Seymour. In, in which case, you know, you're a sovereign being too, as you will. But, but you were warned. <laughs> okay? exactly. So no, no flipping out on me if you're new and you listen to that episode without having done everything else first, you don't get to flip out. <laughs> you can, just not on me. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. So. So the, the last thing I want to mention is that I do have a mailing list. Uh, you can sign up for it at kellysparta.com, um, or you can automatically get it if you download the Boundaries for Empaths download. You'll automatically be on the mailing list that way, which is also at kellysparta.com. Do sign up for it because uh, it, it's definitely worth it, and you're not going to get spammed to death because... <laughs> Hell, I forget to write most of the time. So, you know, my, my last two newsletters that were supposed to go out on the first of the month went out like mid-month. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, I get to it. So, you know, I do talk to you. I just don't talk a lot. And with the amount of spam that's out there, I'm sure you appreciate that as much as I would. Exactly. So. 
I'm, I'm reaching, I keep talking because there's something, there's something that's wanting to come and I'm trying to, to let it come. And I'm sitting with it as I'm sitting here, there is, there is something that wants to come. So I'm just going to tap in and see what I can find. Um, maybe it's something else about the sound healing. <sighs> there were a bunch of blocks that got cleared in the sound healing. There were, there were connections that were made. There were, Okay, so they're saying that I need to explain to you. Um, so in the sound healing, when I make the noises that sound kind of icky, yeah, where my voice feels like it's catching, it's actually the sound vibrating through a block. And when the sound sounds despondent or sad, it's actually me processing out an emotion. So when I'm processing these things, they're coming out of the morphic field of the group. So when I do this work, I, I tap into the morphic field of the group and I set a container for that. And then I work on the morphic field of the group to create that. And, and it's not just the group as it exists now, but it is the group of everyone who will ever listen to this particular podcast. And so it's going out across space and time and therefore is a unique body of people, right? And so I'm working on the blocks that exist in that unique body of people in this moment for me, but throughout all time for the podcast. That's what you're hearing when you hear me doing this work. And uh, yes, that's the piece. And so with great gratitude, I release the ancestors and grandmother moon and the four elements and the aspects and all those who are here for this healing, for this group of people, for the highest and best good. Thank you for your generosity and your gifting and your energy in this process and uh, go with our gratitude. Always good to release the circle. Yes. <laughs> I don't normally call people in <laughs> on the sound healing. So I was like, right. I didn't close that. That's why I wasn't allowed to stop the podcast. <laughs> so remember from podcast episode four, <laughs> where we say, and ever since, remember to close your freaking circles, right? Exactly. So, circle is now complete. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, look, I can see straight again. Okay. I'm not... Not in space anymore because I've released all the people who were crowded in my office. So, yes. It is close your circle your Kellyism or do we have another one in you? No, close your circle is good. <laughs> we're going to stick with close your circle. It's important enough. Close it, it, your circle. <laughs> it is important. All right. Well, that is all that we have for this week. But be sure to join us next time as Kelly adds another chapter into your guide to energy, magic, and the spirit world. I'm Joey C., here with Kelly Sparta, and you have been listening to Spirit Sherpa. So long, everyone. Bye. Close your circle. Each mile I travel over 13,000 miles. Spirit Sherpa is the sole property of Kelly Sparta Enterprises and is distributed under a Creative Commons BY-NC-ND 4.0 license. For more information about this licensing, please go to www.creativecommons.org. Any requests for deviations to this licensing should be sent to kelly at kellysparta.com. To sign up for or get more information on the programs, offerings, and services referenced in this episode, please go to www.kellysparta.com. This episode of Spirit Sherpa has been produced by Honu Voice Productions with post-production by Christopher Wright. Into my home and my life.